It happened again. A speaker has not been elected. And again. A speaker has not been elected. And again. A speaker has not been elected. As the stalemate within the Republican Party blocked leader Kevin McCarthy's path to the speaker's chair for a second straight day. Sir, you do not have the votes and it's time to withdraw. Once again, the House adjourned without a decision. A repeat of the day before. A speaker has not been elected. When McCarthy lost three other rounds of voting. A speaker has not been elected. The historic humiliation was delivered by 20 far-right Republicans who've denied McCarthy the 218 votes he needs. They refused to budge, demanding their party make fundamental changes. Do you think that the American people support the status quo? Yes or no? McCarthy's opponents are so entrenched they ignore the pleas of former President Donald Trump and the vast majority of Republican members. If we continue down this road, if we continue with the actions of yesterday and today, we stifle the will of the American people. The result is not just one party dysfunction, but government gridlock. That's not my problem. I just think it's a little embarrassing it's taking so long in the way they're doing with one another. Without a speaker, no member of the House can be sworn in and no business can take place. Yet it's no longer clear any speaker will be able to conquer the deep divide within the newly elected Republican majority. This now seems to be a complete test of wills, and there are furious negotiations underway behind the scenes to try and end the impasse, but it's just not clear how that's going to happen. And even if Kevin McCarthy were to drop out of the running, it's not clear who a consensus candidate might be. One sense of just how deeply divided these two factions of the Republican Party are is that one group has now written to the group that oversees administration of the Capitol building to complain about the fact that McCarthy actually moved his belongings into the speaker office over the weekend without actually winning the job. Sophie, they're essentially accusing him of squatting at this point. Fascinating. All right. Thanks for that. Jackson Prosco in Washington tonight. Thanks, Jackson.